G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here, and today I want to talk to you about the Mood Photo app for iPhone. So the idea behind this app is you can enjoy photography by just setting the type of film you want before you go out and shoot, and then you can just enjoy yourselves. So it's really, really easy. I'm gonna put it up here, talk you through it, then show you some examples. So as you will see from this screen is I've expired my membership already. And rather than talk to Alex, who's the creator, and say, hey, can you fix me up with this? Just wanna push on, because I can still show you all the things. First of all, you can have control over a flash. You can put your flash on or off. You can then choose what aspect ratio you want from 4.3 to 1.1, 3.2, 5.4, and the list goes on and on and on. So you can choose the option that best suits you. Let's go one to one. Then you can choose if you have a timer. So you have a three second timer, a five second timer, a 10 second timer, which is super handy, isn't it? Yes. And then you can turn the photo around so it takes a photo of you. So yeah, I know it's the membership thing but I'm there, I promise. Um, or you can just shoot what's in front of you. Now, if we go down to the bottom hand, you can choose which lens you use. This is an iPhone 15 Pro Max, so I have the use of the three lenses. I imagine, though, on the any iPhone that this works on, you will have access to the three lenses. You can set those lenses, so we'll talk about that in a sec. On the left, we have the film profile that you might use. Then you can select your lens, and it tells you at the top what millimetage that is, which is super handy. Then you can choose your exposure metering on the right hand side, that's your gallery on the left bottom. And if we go to settings, there's a couple of things I wanna show you. First of all, you can have control over the camera interface. So you can choose your photo, focal lengths and you can you choose the options that you'd like to come up when you select that lens of ultra wide wide or telephoto, very clever. You can have your guides, which are your grid lines. You can have a horizon line, which makes sure you're level and it just clicks on or off and goes yellow when you're there at exactly the right moment moment and you can change your viewfinder style from a classic to a modern to a classic. You also have control over your default exposure bias so you can set that to whatever starting point you'd like. If you'd like things naturally overexposed or underexposed you can set that so you don't have to keep repeating that and you can have your reset on focus so what that means is when you turn the app off and you turn the app back on again it comes back to the settings that you started with. It's all really cool isn't it? Now we go back to settings I can choose my photo settings so I can save the original I can embed the location, which is where we are at the moment. I can manage my presets so you can control which order they come in. So if there's popular ones you enjoy and you want to have them first, you can just drag that up right to the top and it's the one you use when you want to use it. I don't know where it was. It's going to muck my thing up, isn't it? Let's put it in there. Then we can create some shortcuts. You can have your action button, your lock screen widget, and your back tap gesture, and you can set them up however suits you, and you can see the instruction just there about what your preferences are. And you can have membership. Now, membership, my trial has ended. So we'll talk about that right at the end. There's a link in the description below if you want to head there now, but we're nearly there. Got frequently asked questions, why I built the Mood camera, and it's a really cool story that Alex wants to offer. So I'd encourage you just to have a look at that and you can connect with him. He's a really lovely guy and really open. And the other necessary things of having an app options are there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my boy Hamish to do a bit of modeling. I'm gonna talk you through some of the, um, the options that are available to you through the different film presets that he has loaded into here. And you can see what it looks like in real time. All right, look at me. Here we go, see how the get his art on today nice all right so that was portrait at quality of 800 softer tones there's these examples of what that might look like did that is that what you look like Hame? No. not quite now we're going to go over to chrome and these are the options for chrome this is what chrome does so as you can see from this to this so we're on chrome setting yep that's nice just didn't take a bunch of examples to see how this works Big smile. Wow, that's a different smile. <laughs> we'll cruise over under the bridge, and as we do that, you'll see at the top it gives you what sort of camera profile, film profile that is. So now we're going to go to the next one. Next one is gold, so that's more muffled, which might work in a darker environment like we're about to move into. Let's wander over here. Do you want to sit on that? Sit on that um, pillar. Yep, yep. Actually, yeah, 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 yep, sit on that one. Yep. That's it, put your knees up like you're thinking about the world. Go like this. That's good. Now let's go to the next one. 
Next one is an analog. Uh, with an analog, we'll get you to stand. We'll get you to stand in the middle. This is a cool shot, all the way down the bottom inside of the bridge. Just stand in the middle here and put your arms up like you're a star. Oh yeah, that's good. And then we'll go super, super wide on this, and I'll move closer. I'm shooting in portrait all day today, but you can easily shoot like that. Takes a moment to process. Good. Uh, let's pop over here. Now we are going to go for the cine. And for the cine, I think we might do something a little bit different. Come over here. At the moment we're in the shadow rather than the direct sunlight. It's quite harsh shadow because of the bridge that we're under. That's the bridge. All right, just sit on this rock, this clean one. Just looking at the tones in the face. There you go. Now I'm going to zoom up on this one. All right, give me your best footy pose. Nice, nailed it. Now we're going to go out into the sun, get some metro happening. All right, when you lean against that post over there. Yep. Yeah, just there, that's good. All right, that'll do. And then let's just zoom in. All right, look out towards the bridge. Yep. All right, we're humming through them. What? Now we go noir. Noir is a very harsh black and white. Now look at me. Let's just have a look at that. Look at that. So this is somewhere we've got so far. You can see the different color profiles and film profiles as we go through. So that's how old school is that? It's like old school Polaroid, so good. It's a bit fuzzy. Let's go back to the camera. All right, humming along. Now we're gonna go tiger. What does that mean? Tiger. I have no idea what tiger means actually. And put your hands over your eyes like this and look at the sun with your hands over your eyes. Oh, that's a bit different. Now we'll go Apollo. I'm just gonna, with, with Apollo, I thought I might just take a shot of the beautiful scenery and you have that central line. See the central line? Tells you exactly when you're level. Now we go to Vista. Oh, there is a little fish. So as with all film cameras, it loses something on, as it has added grain, it has added textures and noises to reclaim that experience. So that's why you get a, a bit of loss of that clarity and quality that you might otherwise expect. But that's the whole point, right? It's arty. So the idea is, you would select one of these profiles and then you go out with your family or you go out for a particular scene you be like that is the feel I'm going to create that's what I want to create like that one on the screen now we use Nord to do it it's kind of a flatter but more accurately colored shot I'm going to do that and then I'm going to look at these trees right here and I'm going to shoot it and that's going to make me very happy because I'm going to pull that up and go oh yep that's right that's Nord cruising through them We've got mono now. Now mono is black and white, as opposed to noir, which is a harsh, shadowed black and white. Oh, great. Oh no, I ran out of my membership. That's a little bit embarrassing, but well, we can recover. So yes, I've ran out of my free membership, but if you would like to buy this app, it's 15 pounds, now I'm in Australia, but it's 15 pounds for a lifetime membership, or it's two pounds a month if you just want to try it out. So have a look down below if you think this is for you. I just want to mention, if you go to the preview screen of any of the filters, and let's go to, Let's go to a vibrant poppy, right? And then you can click through, and so you can actually go, well, the lighting's like this, or my subject's like this, and so what would be best suited for the option I have available? And then once you think you've, you're have you onto it, you can just go, yep, it's cine. But then you might say, oh, I, I wanna take some architectural photos, but have that kind of throwback feel. And so you might go through your different options until you like the feel and the vibe that best suits where you're at. And as you can see, it alters the film simulation that it's copying from should that be of help to you and just go camera to go back to it uh, has it been helpful i hope so it's a cool little app i'm not getting paid anything this um, alex just connected to me out of the blue 
I asked him, how many, like, how long is this taking? He's like, it took me so long. I'm like, well, man, because of your contribution to the photo world, I feel like I should just throw some love his way and some attention his way. So even if you go and have a play with the free trial and see what you think, tell a friend that you think might be loving that aspect of um, easy, straightforward, kind of old school enjoyment of photography. Using your phone, well, it's beautiful, isn't it? So please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.